Hey y'all, I'm EJ, you're you, and welcome to my channel. Today, guys, we are on Honderdosa, our new survivor island, and we are going to be working on the entrance to this mountain misty core thing. So get ready, get set, and let's get into this, y'all. So with my entrances, I always like to give them as like a kind of short preview of the island to come or whatever. So, you know, of course, with this, we're going to be trying to set up this misty mountain core. So I wanted the entrance to be framed on both sides by these two big mountains and then have like a little bridge because I want to use a lot of water with this. So here I'm just terraforming these mountains. And speaking of mountains, if you are looking for a mountain to scale, uh, the Disney Emoji Blitz mountain could be for you because you you gotta scale up in level i'm doing a giveaway for that um so you just if, if you reached a level 10 you send me a screenshot of you doing that um then you'll have a chance to win a ten dollar nintendo eShop gift card or crafting supplies that's fun but anyways back to this video so right now we're just building up to the third level i really want to make sure that everything feels very tall on this island i really want to play with <laughs> verticality um and so to make that i want to basically recreate that mountain on the other side now as you may or may not know my favorite part about the star of the island is of course going pattern shopping and finding my new lovely path and i found this incredible one which is great but um didn't have a single tile version of the path so i can't actually put it between this little tight squeeze but that's okay because um you know everything works happens for a reason right um so there we go so we're building up the cliff a little bit to the left to just give it a little more area um a little more room so i can actually put a cute little bamboo tree now one other way that i want to really challenge myself with this island i always kind of like try to think about ways that I can challenge myself with an AI island that I'm trying to do really. Um, I want to only use the bamboo trees. The only, you know, only those because I feel like that's really going to help give the right vibes. We are looking for like East Asian Himalayan kind of inspired vibes. So, you know, bamboo just really fits in perfectly with that. Now also let's take a moment to admire this lovely path uh, that I chose. I did not make it, but um, I did choose it. <laughs> yeah, um, so this is like a mossy stone path. And one of the reasons that I actually picked it is because I was able to find another creator who made like five kind of mossy stone one tile pieces that I can use for accent pieces. And y'all know that I love a good accent piece. I think accent pieces are so important. You gotta put it underneath everything so that it makes it look layered and deep and, uh, you know, full and stuff like that. So we love this path. Shout out to that. And now we are using a new bridge as I film this bridge. Vivian, move. Anyways, um, so I am going to be using the Red Zen Bridge for this. I think it's going to be like the bridge of the island. It's the Red Zen Bridge, which famously is, you know, one of the more expensive ones. But, you know, big spender. Who cares? Now, as I extend this river down uh, to the side, continuing it along, I did just want to say, because I saw her in the background, Pico, having Pico on my island, let me tell you, the vibes, impeccable. I just like seeing her just makes me happy. I feel filled with, 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 um, um, accomplishment, you know? So it's just great to see her. But here's the thing. I realized that she's a normal type villager. Uh, she has like the normal personality type. Well, I didn't realize I knew it, but I was just like reminded of it. And the thing is, is that I recently got, um, uh, 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 Gladys. Is that her name? No, her name is not. No, her name is Gladys. Good news, everyone. I paused the recording and I checked. Her name is indeed Gladys. Um, and I got her from one of my community members, Xena. But Gladys is also a normal personality type. And here's the thing. I don't like the normal personality types that much. Like they're fine. They're fine. They're nice. They're kind, but they're like kind of boring just for me just to me you know so i'm just kind of uh I, you know they just have the best designs so i'm worried about having a bunch of normal villagers on my island and so you know i've filled my quota i have two i only have two maximum of each personality type because i like having all the personality types makes for better drama you know what i'm saying and we're all about the drama on this survivor island mama <laughs> also impromptu waterfall didn't plan on this waterfall but hey and now look at the bridge the bridge is here 
We're building bridges on Ponderosa. Ponderosa, excuse me. Just forgot the name of my own island. So now we're gonna start decorating. We're gonna place down some padding. We're gonna put down some furniture on top of that, but then we're gonna say, mm, better not. We're gonna say, maybe not now, because we need to still do some more terraforming. I wanted to have four kind of like pillars of mountain uh, around this whole entrance area, because the area of China that I'm actually taking inspiration from has a lot of small, tall, skinny legends of mountains. So we're gonna have like some skinny legend mountains in this beginning because that's, you know, the rest of the island. So we gotta clear away some of these other trees. There can only be one tree in this town. Ugh. That was a joke because I'm tall, just so we're clear. Anyways, I will say that I think uh, we're doing mountain core, right? I've actually tried to make a mountain island before. My first, the first island that I did on this uh, channel, the first island that I did on this channel was attempting to do like kind of a mountain core vibe. My issue though, was that there was just one big mountain in the center and it really made it, it didn't feel tall because it was all kind of like the same, you know, you know like you were walking along the second level and you're like, okay, cute but everything's the second level, so it doesn't feel that tall up, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like if we do a bunch of like small skinny legend mountains, um, like we're doing in this first area, then it'll actually make it feel more mountainous because there'll be more variation in levels um, as you're like walking around. So, you know, it might mean also that we definitely need to use some more ladders, but hey, that's cute. The other thing I wanna do is a bunch of like small islands in the water. So we're doing that right here by putting a cute little tall lantern in the middle of our river. And look at her, she's cute. Listen, no man is an island, but this lantern, this lantern's an island, you know? We love to glitch. We love to glitch on this channel, okay? We love putting the trees on the edges of the mountains. We said, no, no, I don't, I, I wanna put it where I want it. So I'm gonna glitch. And now we actually have reached the decorating portion of our build. All of the terraforming is done and we're gonna start decorating. Uh, first things first, we're putting out a carp banner. I know it's like wild because, you know, we had that whole challenge earlier and we had to use the carp banner and I really like the carp banner. I think it's a really cute item. So I'm using it here, even though I think someone else tried to give it to us as like a challenge. I think it is really pretty, so I like it. Now I will say also another thing that makes this entire theme very easy is just because there are already so many kind of East Asian inspired items in the game. I have a lot of items to pick from. Whereas like with, you know, the Wild West Island, it's like, there's not exactly a bunch of cowboy stuff hanging around. I mean, there is some, but like in general, it's very sparse and it's making a lot of other things work. But here there's a, there's a wealth of items that I can use um, to give those vibes that we wanna give. The other funny thing is that I think a lot of the items that I'm using are actually a lot of the same items that I was using on Ponderosa the first time. And it's just like funny to me the way that these kind of work even across themes, like the Sideways Pirate Barrel, use those all the time. And of course, don't worry, our jail bars will be making an appearance, the Rusty Jail Bars, don't worry, I haven't forgotten about them. Now here's the thing, y'all. The other question that I'm having as I'm building this island is like, I don't know when to set the island in terms of like time, like what season is the best for this, for like a Misty Mountain core? And right now I'm leaning towards the beginning of summer because I think like, look at this lush green grass. I think it just looks so nice. But I was thinking also like maybe spring could be good. I don't even know, like when does the fog even happen? Because we, you know we're gonna have to set the, the dream address in like a foggy time. And also ideally, I would find a time that's foggy in the evening to actually host Last Crosser Standing and everything. Oh, also if you don't know, if you're just like happen upon this, this island, we're building it, it's gonna be like a survivor island. Like half the island's gonna be like a village and the other half is gonna be the challenge arena where we host this like fun little live survivor inspired game on it which is going to be on youtube live so like check that out keep an eye out for that and of course you know i had to find a space to put my favorite item the copy hallway our fave we love her she's iconic oh now the other thing that we always have to figure out when you're starting out an island is like, what flowers are you going to use and things like that? Or at least these are the things that I think about because I'm all like, I'm a design, I'm in it for the design. Let's put it that way, okay? I was thinking that like white flowers would look good for this. The only thing is like, 
there's only so many flowers that I have. The, the other thing is just that like, you know, this is a new island and so I don't have my full catalog or anything like that. And so I was basically kind of limited in this first design with what I had on hand, which luckily what I, I like, you know, kind of kind of stocked up when I've been going to treasure islands and stuff like that. So I had a few things, but um, I still definitely felt limited in terms of like the stuff that I had and definitely just in terms of like what flowers I had. Luckily, white lilies were in stock at Nooks that day. Thanks, Nooks. You really uh, helped me. Talking is hard, y'all. I don't know why I started this whole like YouTube channel because where talking is a main thing. Because I can talk, but like, it, can I make it coherent? Can I pick the right words? Who knows? That's the that's that's what keeps you coming back. You're like, are they going to be able to speak this time? And usually the answer is no. But you know, you keep coming back for something. So I guess it's you, you, you like the the chaos. Can someone actually be chaotic if they describe themselves as chaotic? Because isn't the nature of chaos that you don't know what you're going to get? So if someone is describing themselves as chaotic, then you know that you're going to get chaos, quote unquote. So then it's not, it's, it's totally expected. So that like, it's not chaos. You ever think about that? Anyways, let me also say that a lot of the items that I want to use on this island are the most annoying shapes because they're the 1.5 by 1.5. I hate those items. Like these cherry blossom branches, hate them on the crap list. The uh, uh, the pagoda, pagoda be kidding me. Mm, not that good. Pagoda hell, there we go, okay? Because you're 1.5 by 1.5. How the heck am I supposed to, everything, why? Why do they make 1.5 by 1.5? I just hate it, I hate it. It's my least favorite square because you think it should fit in the one square and it doesn't. And you're just saying they're like, you're destroying all my dreams. Why would you, why could you, why would you ever do this to me? Pagoda. But luckily the trials, the tribulations, they end here. Well, for the most part. I mean, we still have to figure everything out. But at this point, we're just doing some final touches. We're just putting down the final last things before we finish this area. And the first area on Ponderosa is done. And are you ready to see it? Well, here's the reveal, okay? I just, listen, it's cute. It's a moment, it's a whole vibe. And I think it's really giving a lot of the basis for the rest of this island. Now from here, we just have to figure out how we're gonna lay everything out, but I'm excited to see this island come together. So I hope you guys are too. Um, uh, uh, subscribe to see more. And as usual, thank you to my base for making all this possible. Okay, bye.